So we're gonna practice making a couple basic folds with the practice origami first. And our first one, this one, pretty simple. It starts with a square, like a diamond. And then we're going to fold it sideways in half. With origami, you always wanna try and match your edges together. So this isn't matched. I need to slide it until I've matched the not just the edge, but all the way to the corner. So it is a perfect tip. All the way up here. All right. This is a fold that I'm using just the line for. So on this side, I'm going to fold the edge in to match this line, just like that. So it'll look like a smaller triangle. Here, just to the edge. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So I'm not folding it in, I'm not folding it this way. I'm matching this edge to the middle line. So I need to move it sideways almost. So the top should also be a triangle look here there's a triangle right up top here so try this one out give it a couple minutes when you're finished with that basic fold don't move on look back up front so next we're going to make this fold this one you just fold in half like this and then each side, I'm gonna fold the corners in to the center, like that. Folding up, and the side that I'm folding is the side that's open. So this is the center fold, and I'm folding these up. One up to meet, again, meet the edge. I don't wanna fold it this way crooked or this way crooked. This edge needs to meet this edge, right? Same thing, I'm gonna fold this one down so it meets. So this match, this does not match. I need to slowly edge it until it matches. Right, and that is another basic fold. And these actually stay open. Now, after you finish with these basic folds, if you wanna try out making them look a little more interesting. Like maybe you want to fold out two of the edges. Just everything you do to one side, make sure you do to the other. We're doing symmetry, which means that they match. Right? This would be mirroring. That's a little more interesting than just the basic fold. So if you want to try out folding something a little bit extra to make it fancier, you can. But try the basic fold first like this. And when you're finished, just wait, look up front. Okay, so this one's a little more complicated. We're gonna start with some folds that are going to help us. So folding it directly into a triangle and open it back up. Then I'm gonna fold it the other way into a triangle. Match the corners, open it back up so I have some of these lines. Now, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it's an X, okay? This is the tricky part. So for right now, everybody do that step first. Do your two folds, open it up, turn it so it's an X facing you like a square. Now, the tricky part is we're going to fold in this side triangle like this. But I'm not gonna fold it in all the way. 
I'm only going to fold it to the center of this triangle, like right here. You can see this is sticking out. I'm going to take this line and move it back. This corner is going to match with this corner. You should be able to see there's a line straight down the middle, just like that. So again, I'm taking this line right here, this corner even, if you want to think about it this way, this corner is going to meet this corner. And I'm pulling this corner down to meet. You can see this little loop, whoops, this little loop right here. Once these two tips are meeting, I'm going to crease it with my finger like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I want this corner to meet with this corner. But when I start bending it, you can see this is sticking out. I don't want this to stick out. I don't want this to stick in. So I'm going to use my finger to push it back and have this corner meet with this corner. Just like that. Crease it down. Okay. In the end, you should get a triangle here and a triangle there. And there'll be two little things inside. It'll almost look like a little X. Okay. Do that next. Do that step next and then stop. After that, you can do a couple of things. With this one, I just spun it around, took just the top two corners, because there's two now, and I bent it up. And I kept the tip here tight, and I just bent it like halfway. You could bend it all the way up if you want, or you could bend it sideways like a diagonal. I'll leave it up to you. I did a diagonal here, so I think to make things simple, I'm gonna go straight up this time. Straight up and crease it. And then I'll take this side and match it straight up like that. All right, so these are meeting, or you could have them separated like that. Okay, try that step. And then when you're done, look up front. Now I'm going to show you one more fold, just an extra one, because I think this one looks kind of neat. You can see I did the same thing I did before where I made the X, right? But now what I'm going to do is take each corner and find the center of the X, which is right there, and I'm going to bring the corner to the center of the X and crease it down. Same thing here. Bring it to the corner without overlapping. With origami, unless it tells you to, you don't ever want to overlap your paper. You want them to be right up to the edge, like matching each other. This tip is going to go straight into the middle here. This looks like an envelope. And in the center. Do that step first, and when you're done, look up front. Next, I'm going to take the corners and fold them into the middle again. So same side, fold them so they meet the tips right in the center. And there's a lot of different places I could stop if you like a different type of fold. Like if I were to fold in these two opposite corners, this might be a shape you like, right? This looks kind of neat. Um, whatever shape you decide to do, you're going to need to make several of them because we're going to be making radial patterns. So whatever you make, you need to make like six or eight of each of these folds. So don't make them too hard, right? For this one, I'm going to keep going and fill in all four corners in the center again. Ah. Without overlap. And then the last step, I just take each of the little tips and fold it back out. Just a little, like that. And then I'll do it on each side again. I'm 
doing things all the way around in a radial pattern. And this is the one that I kind of made up. So you can try mine out. And then maybe come up with one of your own unique folds. The other thing you can do if you want to just stick with the basic ones we learned, you can practice another one of them if you're having difficulty or having trouble with one. Or you could even decide uh, to make one of these folds more fancy. So maybe after doing this, you think, you know what? I think I want to fold this back out. To make it even more interesting. Okay, so try out some folds, practice. Remember to save your folds. We're putting them in our folders for today, so we have them to look at next time.